We're going to mix some plaster. Start with a bucket that's a third full of water or less, never more. The water can be hot if you want a quicker set or cold if you want the plaster to last a little bit longer in its mayonnaise or liquid form. We'll start by taking a handful of plaster and adding it to the water. One thing to notice is that I'm not stirring the plaster into the water. I'm just placing it on top of the water around the outside of the bucket. If I mix the plaster in or stir the water, that's pretty much the end of this process and I'll just throw that batch away. What I'm doing is setting the plaster on top of the water so that it can slake and settle in. You'll notice here in the bucket, as I put the plaster in, it sits on the top for a while and then slowly drops in. I'm going to keep adding plaster until I see what I'm just starting to see now, which is islands of plaster forming on the top of the surface of the water. Now I'll put the plaster in much more slowly to the areas where it's just water and no islands. Here you can see we have about half land mass islands or islands that are just starting to go down into the water and half water mass. When looking from the side, you can see that the level of the water is quite thin. The plaster is almost up to the surface everywhere across this bucket. So again, about half plaster above the surface of the water, half plaster below, somewhere between a third plaster, two-thirds water to two-thirds plaster, one-third water is fine So in that, in that area. You notice that my mountains are not high. The land mass is not high in here, nor is the water very deep. That's a perfect mix right there. Now, as that is settled, I can go in and stir, not before. I'm stirring this plaster by putting my hand deep in and squeezing the plaster through my fingers. I'm not whipping it up. I'm not adding air into the mix. I'm also feeling for those greebles again to see if there are any chunks in there that need to come out. It's only important that the plaster be greeble free if you're doing casting and you need a perfectly smooth surface. I've got plaster perfectly mixed now. That texture you might be able to see is like a creme fraiche or a thin kefir. Now I'm ready to either pour this or wait for it to set up a little bit into that mayonnaise state to trowel on. When you're done mixing the plaster, never wash your hands in the sink. Always use a slop bucket to clear off your hands first so that we don't put liquid plaster into the drain system. That's it. You can see the plaster starting to thicken up. We're now at about the yogurt stage.
We're now almost at the mayonnaise stage. About seven minutes into the set. And now we're right at the mayonnaise stage. This is a time when you can apply the plaster onto boards or structures, and you can start to build form and volume. You can trowel it. This stage does not last very long, and so you always want to work with small batches so that you can maximize your time with the mayonnaise stage. We're now just past the mayonnaise stage. You can see that we can form the plaster. We can carve it a little bit, but it starts to break open as well if you stress it. At this stage, if we work the plaster much more, it'll start to lose a bit of strength, but it's still quite flexible. and toolable. Now the plaster is almost fully cured. It's still a little soft, but at this stage, more manipulation will make it so that it doesn't stick together. You can still carve it, but it's no longer plastic. Plaster is now hard, can't be worked. Throughout this process, I'm not allowed to add water to the plaster to change its consistency. Once I have a bucket of hard plaster like this, the only thing I can do is start over. To clean the bucket, I stretch it, 